Good afternoon, Instagram. My name is Marta Villegas Miranda, and I'm an academic advisor at Brookhaven Advising Center. So good afternoon. I am connecting with you from my virtual office at home. So I hope to answer some questions to you um, as an academic advisor at Brookhaven College. So hello. I hope you and your families are in good health and spirits. And now more than ever, we are committed to assisting you holistically. So if you need any information about campus and community resources, please let us know. Thank you, muchas gracias for your patience and understanding as we rapidly transition to studying and working remotely. I want you to know that we are very much committed to assisting you in your college journey. So I'm here today to provide some answers and some tips to make sure you are set for summer and fall semester. But first, I want you to know that in this age, there is information at literally your fingertips. So, if you have any questions, I always want you to start with our website. If you go to the DCCD website or any of the college's web main website, at the top of the link, there is a pink banner. That pink banner is alerting you that we have some very important information to share with you. It has information about COVID-19 updates, so it's important that you go to that link so you can see what are the latest updates that impact you as a student. There's also a link to information about community resources as well as community employment. So that is at the top of every DCCD website and make sure you go there on a regular basis to get the latest information. Also on the website, you're going to see a link that says student resources. I want you to click on that student resources because that is going to take you to a, a website that's going to have virtual student resources. So I apologize for my chicken scratch. But I really want you to go to this website because the district has really been working really hard to provide a one-stop link, a one-stop shop of all the information that you need um, to be a student at DCCD. So I want you to go to this link because once you enter that link, you're going to find information about the enrollment process. There are six steps. And especially if you are a new student, we need you to complete all the six steps before all the steps before you get to advising. It also provides information to you for academic advising, career advising, counseling, disability services, dual credit information, financial aid, international student support, learning support, student life and activities, and veteran military services. So if you have any question, please go to the student resources tab and you will find the virtual student resources link. And this should be your one-stop shop of getting all the information that you need, okay? So we received a lot of questions, so thank you. We know you have a lot of questions, so thank you for your patience. Um, and so the first question I wanted to address um, came um, from a lot of our early college high school students. So there were a lot of questions regarding withdrawing and registering. So my best advice to you, if you are an early college student, is to contact your high school guidance counselor. They will provide you with information, what are the next steps that you need. If you are homeschooled, please contact our dual credit office, which is also information is located at the virtual student resource page to get information. So all you seniors, congratulations on your upcoming high school graduation, and we look forward to serving you on our college campus. We received another question and it and is, how does FAFSA work? Now that's a really big question. 
And I want to be honest, I am not a financial aid advisor. I'm an academic advisor, but I do know some basic financial aid information, which I'll provide to you. FAFSA stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. You can apply for this application at studentaid.gov. When you fill this form out, you're providing the federal government with information it needs to calculate your expected family contribution, which is EFC. Your EFC determines how much money your family can contribute to your college tuition cost. DCCD will then use your EFC score to calculate how much aid you will be offered. And aid can be in terms of student worker um, funds, it can be grants, it can be scholarships, it can be loans. So again, I'm not a financial aid advisor, so if you have questions about your financial aid, make sure you send an email to facc at dccd.edu, okay? Again, I apologize for my chicken scratch, but if you have questions about financial aid, please send an email to facc at dccd.edu. Now, I do want to provide a very important tip. Anytime you send an email to an um, advisor or financial aid, always include your student ID number. We are receiving hundreds of emails every day and we are committed to serving you. But if you can provide all the information that we need to look at your student record, that would really help us a lot with trying to assist you in a faster manner. So basically when you send an email, and here's my email tip, make sure you write your student ID, make sure you write your full name, also write your enrollment status. That means, are you a current student? Are you a dual credit student? Are you first time in college? Are you a transfer student? Or are you just trying to get information, general information? That really helps us um, help you in the long run. And also, if you know your DCCD degree, certificate, or guided pathway, that helps us. And if you know where you want to transfer. So having all this information in one email really helps us to get to you faster. We are processing, again, hundreds of emails a day, and we are processing them on a first come, first serve basis. So if you can somehow just give us all the details that we need, then we can help you in a, in a faster manner. So going back to financial aid. So if again, if you go to the virtual student services link, you are going to find information about financial aid. And again, in this day and age, information is at your fingertips. I wish when I was in college that I had, all, I had the internet, I had all this information readily available to me so I can read and inform myself about the financial aid process. So when you do go to virtual student services, you're going to see the link for financial aid. And it has information about how to understand your financial aid, who's eligible, uh, what are my rights and responsibilities once I receive financial aid. It gives you information and links about the awarding process, what is financial aid verification, and how do you accept your financial aid so it pays for your classes. So again, if you have questions about financial aid, send them to this email address, but you can also go to the virtual student resources page to get that information. So it looks like I see the links on, on the Instagram post, so please just go to that link and that will provide you information. We also had a question about what classes are transferable to a university? That is an excellent question. So at the community college, you can select to complete classes that are called core, or as some people say, my basics. It's a set of courses that will provide you with the knowledge, skills, and educational experiences that you need to succeed in higher education. The core transfers as a block of credits to any public Texas college or university, guaranteed, 
okay? So if you complete your basics, your core, which is a total of 42 credits at DCCD, your transcript will say you are core complete and any public Texas university has to accept your core. Now, I do have to say that if you're interested in transferring to a, a private university, you may want to contact that university because they may have a different set of core classes, okay? More than 75% of our students at DCCD are enrolled in academic transfer courses, and we have, we have transfer agreements with major universities, such as University of North Texas, SMU, UTA, UTD, Baylor, UT Austin, Texas A&M, and dozens more. Core classes transfer seamlessly, guaranteed. Texas law. So, uh, so if you want more information about the transfer process, again, go to the website in the search bar, type in transfer, and the district has really developed really good information about how to transfer. It has links to all of our transfer schools. It gives you information about cost. So it's just really important that, again, you become informed. As an academic advisor, I always tell my students that you need to take charge of your education, that you need to feel empowered to know what, what, um, what steps to take in your journey. And that as advisors, we're here to guide you. So it's really important that you, be, you make good informed decisions about your education. And as an advisor, it's, it's my role to guide you through that process. So um, please go to our website to really become aware about the transfer for process and then come to us and we'll help confirm or provide more information to you about transferring to your dream school. Okay. We had another question and it was, what is the deadline for registration for new students? So I just want you to know that May term, summer and fall registration is underway. I encourage students to register now for those courses. Uh, many times, courses do fill up or they're canceled due to row enrollment. So I do encourage you to register for classes as soon as possible so you can pick your preferred professor. And in for the fall, um, if, if we stay with in-person classes, then you can pick a time that meets your schedule. So for now, just so you know, all summer classes are online. And depending how Dallas County is on the COVID curve, um, right now, there are classes in the schedule for fall that are in person, but that may change to online depending how Dallas County responds to COVID-19. So again, if you want the latest information, go to that pink ribbon on the website and click on COVID updates and you will learn about information for fall classes. So right now in the schedule, there are in-person and online, but just so you know, they could go online if the situation does not improve in Dallas County. Now, the last day to register for fall for 16 week courses is May 19th. I would not recommend waiting till May 19th. A lot of classes are already full. You may have to pick um, classes with a professor, with a different professor or a different time that doesn't fit your schedule. So I do encourage you to, do early, uh, to register early on um, for those classes. But technically, the last day to register is August 19th for classes that start the first week of school. You're always, uh, you're always welcome to register for flex term classes that start after the first week of school. So um, just wanted to give you that information. We had another question that said, I need help planning my schedule. How do I obtain assistance? Well, first of all, if you already have established connection with an advisor, send that advisor an email. It's really important that you continue to develop that relationship with that academic advisor because they know you. Um, they, they've helped you, they've guided you, they know your situation, and we're all working remotely checking our email. So if you know your advisor, please send them an email and they should respond. Um, shortly. Again, give us 24 to 48 hours. We are receiving a lot of emails, so just be patient in our response. 
You can also send an email to bhcadvising at dccd.edu, okay? So if you send a general email to our bhcadvising at dccd.edu, make sure you write your ID number. Also, make sure you write your full name. What is your enrollment status? Are you, again, are you a current student? Are you a first time in college student? Are you a transfer student? Are you a dual credit student? This will really help us help you. Let us know what DCCD degree or certificate or guided pathway program that you're on. And if you're not, that's okay. You can just write, I am unsure or I'd like to change. Um, we can still help you. And if you know what school you wanna to transfer to, okay? So you can send a general email to bhcadvising at dccd.edu, okay? So um, I also wanted to let you know that um, we have been virtually advising through Microsoft Teams, okay? I've had a lot of students um, contact me and, and set up appointments with me to to virtually advise through Microsoft Teams. You do have to be a current student to access this program. And so basically, when you're a current student, you have access to Microsoft Office. And if you go to the website and search Microsoft, you will find the link that tells you where to download Microsoft Office applications. Microsoft Teams is an application that you can download just like PowerPoint, Word, or any other Microsoft programs. Once you download this either to your desktop or your phone, then um, let the advisor know and we will call you through this application. And the way I've been setting up appointments is that when I call you, um, you can decide to answer as a phone call or you're welcome to share your face, your, your space, um, but you're not, you don't have to. And I will be able to share with you my screen. That's why it's really important that, that um, we meet through Microsoft Teams. It's just like Zoom, but Microsoft Teams is a DCCD approved application and it's free if you're a current student through our district. And it's been a very um, valuable experience for our students. I typically spend 30 to 40 minutes. I will show you everything from how to pick your classes, show you your advising report, what classes you need for core. So I will share my screen so you can see. And then through the chat message, we can stay in contact. So you could ask me a question and I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours. So, so instead of going to an email, you're sending me a chat message and I will respond to your question in a much faster process. So that's how you can connect with an advisor if you need assistance with picking classes and figuring out um, what you need to start for summer and fall. We received another question and it says, my eConnect won't work. I have talked to somebody and it's, I still have no luck. How can I get it fixed? Well, we do have the student help desk phone number, okay? 972-699-6402, okay? Again, the phone number is 972-699-6402. This is a student help desk. It provides district-wide student support, support for eConnect, for eCampus, for Outlook, for, for Microsoft Teams, for MyPortal, and other district-supported software. They operate um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If for some reason that first contact does not help you, they will elevate your concern and try to get a response as soon as possible. So if you have problems with your eConnect or any kind of technology um, questions, then you should really contact, again, the student help desk 
phone number, 972-699-6402. I know a lot of students have been asking, can I talk to an advisor? Um, and right now we're not, um, we don't have access to our office phones. We can check our voicemail, but the best way for us to call you is through our Microsoft Teams application. Okay, so make sure you download it onto your desktop or phone and we will call you to answer questions. Okay, all right. <coughs> Last question and then I'll go to the questions uh, on the live feed. So, um, okay, I want to change my program of study. How do I do that? Well, um, again, our district works tirelessly, very hard in providing all the tools that you need and information on our website. So I want you to go to your website, to our website, um, and on the search bar, I want you to type in eConnect tutorial videos. There are several helpful tutorial videos teaching you how to navigate eConnect. So if you have questions about your program of study, how to change it, there's a video to guide you. If you want information about how to update your email or you forgot you want to reset your password, you want information about um, how to make a payment plan, um, how to get a transcript, how to view your advising report, again, if you search eConnect tutorial videos, you're going to come across with a lot of short videos guiding you how to access eConnect and the different resources that it provides. So very, very important. Um